Hello, fabulous friends. How are you doing today? Welcome to another episode of the Bobby Joe and Sheena show. Two mindset coaches here to help you free your mind. Free so I was just telling nice. Sheena. That's not in shape. I was telling Sheena a story of an idea I have that I want to find a bunch of really big concrete blocks, lay on my grass, put a yoga mat down, and put like 10 or 12, as many as I can handle without being suffocated, of all these concrete blocks on top of me and do a meme and tell people, this is me way under here. And this is the years of garbage, of stuff and beliefs and thoughts that I have that are on top of me. And it has taken me five and a half years to one by one get those blocks off. That's not me. That's not my true identity. That's not even what I really believe. And how we have to just go through the garbage to free our minds, free our minds and be the kind and loving people that we truly are and we're brought, brought into this earth. Look at those babies. They're just happy and giddy and they're self-sufficient. They get up and they walk and they fall and they're like, I'm gonna keep walking. But then we're told, you can't do that. You're a boy you're a girl, you're Asian, you're white, you're this. And there's so many paradigms that are layered on us that we can't just shine our beautiful bright star of self of who we truly are and the consciousness of it all in life. So that's really all they have. And I'm gonna let Sheena take it away, but free your mind, let everything else go and those beliefs. You know, I have a good friend and she's like, I've gotten rid of all my judgeful friends. She goes, but I still have one. And she goes, when we hang out, I just watch her look at me and I can see her judging me. And she goes, but it doesn't bother me anymore. I just learned to just love her for who she is because it's not my friend's problem. It's her friend's problem with the judging. So, you know, just these little things to think about food for thought today. Sheena, what do you have to say about free your mind? Yeah, you're not your mind. You're not your body. You know, you've given your mind and your ego way too much work to do. You know, yeah. whenever you realize that it wasn't yours, it wasn't your cross to carry. And so you're trying to get your mind to fix everything when your mind is stuck in yesterday and everything that it's been told. And it's not, I mean, what I realized for me was just like, we were talking about how we coached before and, and I would have been very process driven. Well, what I had learned to do was how to pass exams. You know, once I figured that I would just learn something, I would do it, I would know it, and then I would move on. And I expected the same whenever I started to study with Bob Proctor. I didn't understand why, why wasn't I in the inner circle within the first three months? I knew this stuff, I had studied it. I had been studying this for like 10 years and this was stuff I knew. Oh. You know, but that was me beating myself up. I had to free myself of those paradigms basically brought to my knees to actually realize that, oh, I know nothing. You so free your mind from trying to know anything. You know nothing. There's nothing to know, really. And um, that's a bit of a deeper conversation. We'll do that another time. But just free your mind for now and just give it a bit of break and just go, you're not supposed to know everything. So. That's good. Free your, sorry, free your mind. Drop out of the head, get into your heart. Lead. Nice to teach that in yoga. Roll those shoulders back and lead with your heart in love, not with your head in fear. Have an amazing day. Like us, subscribe us, start having meaningful conversations with your friends and family. We'll talk to you soon. Have an amazing day. Okay,